Hey everybody, my name is Blackjack. Welcome back to you, Miles Morales. Oh, that is very loud. <laughs> Had my headphones up way too high. Last time in Miles Morales, we drink coffee this late. Okay, <laughs> ended up infiltrating Finn the Finn's the base eater. as our titular side hero, Miles Morales, uh, and then as main hero, Spidey Boy, um, and the Fosses of Evil. Today, we're going to be taking on a few bases. We're going to accomplish them all. We're going to take about four of them. Uh, we're going to be doing two of them as the Strike Force suit, which I don't know what Strike Force uh, or Strike means because the wiki won't tell me. <laughs> but the Strike Force, when unlocked, gives you Venom Overlock, which uh, allows you to generate uh, Venom, or at least it increases generation of Venom power while your health gets lower. So the more damage you take, the more Venom you increase. City does not make me it's not particularly good. But it's also not particularly bad. Today I have the honor of welcoming Roxxon Energy's head of R&D, Simon Krieger. Mr. Krieger, you've been out promoting the benefits of your new form reactors. The first of which is set to open in Harlem soon. Yet, you've had some critics. Hmm. Well, first off, Jonah, uh, let me say what an honor and a pleasure it is to be on your show. Oh, well, I'm blushing. And, yeah, you're right. We've had some resistance. Most notably from Rio Morales, who uh, looks to be a new city council member in the upcoming special election. And I have a, I have a lot of respect for Ms. Morales. Uh, she's smart. She's a great role model for young women. But I think she's putting her energy in the wrong place. Our new form reactors will make this a better city, a better home for New Yorkers. But I, I, I guess some people just have a hard time with change. Let me give you some advice. One highly successful man to another. You know what I like to say to my critics? <laughs> you and the horse you rode in on. <laughs> well, okay. I, I, uh, I admire your conviction. You're, uh, you're a man who's not afraid to pay a fine in order to make uh, your point. Fine? What do you mean? Sure. How much? Do your editing thing, quick! That's so super duper funny. <laughs> of course, Jonah wouldn't know anything about any of that. <laughs> hey, Miles. Uh, remember when I said I knew someone who's looking into the underground? She's on the line. Hi, uh, Spider-Man? I'm Danica Hart. I'm planning a podcast series on the underground, and your, uh, your tech guy said you needed help with them? Oh! Wow, um, I'm a big fan. <clears throat> I'm actually at one of their hideouts right now. Any advice? Man? Wow. Okay. Uh, um, sorry. Um, their hideouts are radio dead zones, so police can't warn you. If you disable the jammers, I can alert the police and get them shut down. I'm on it. Thanks for the help, Danica. <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna talk about that in a second. Um, so the trick suit was designed by uh, a man named Dave Raposa, and he uh, was inspired by the Cayman Rider series, or at least, uh, or sorry, the Double Riders from the Cayman Riders series, um, for making this suit. It's kind of like the Arachnid Rider suit, how that's also inspired by very similar stuff. Uh, incredible. I actually really like the look of the suit. I think it's like super duper off the wall, and like, Super, it, 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 remind, it honestly reminds me of like a Super Sentai villain, is what it reminds me of. You know, <laughs> like a Power Rangers giant villain. It's great. Uh, which I guess kind of makes sense because it's a Kamen Rider reference, essentially. Um, so one. To who? Why the, fuck is my, why the fuck is my boy Genki fucking up my identity by telling a super duper big podcaster uh, that he fucking knows who Spider-Man is? She like investigates shit. She knows how to find information out. She could literally just look at Genki and then find out what school he goes to and finds out like who his friends are. And she can make an educated guess on the one that keeps disappearing when shit happens. Genki, my, my, my brother in Christ. <laughs> Zone, I was able to ping an IP address, and it led me to an online underground forum. And it is gold. Uh, really? Have you found anything good? Like how they started? They were wannabe mafia. Started with assaults and robberies, and went after bigger groups so they could earn a reputation. Like, oh, entertainment. 
Okay, so the two challenges for this uh, base was Venom Punch 5 dudes and then uh, hurt five enemies by pulling things down. So you can do that one simply by getting a bunch of people near one object and getting them. You can get like up to four or five. You can actually probably get all five people in one Yankable object, but I'm sure there's enough Yankable objects around. Like there's at least three right here that I can see um, that can allow you to do this mission without having to set up multiple people. So after they made a run at the inner demons, how'd things go? So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing for this video. We're going to be taking on a bunch of different bases, and I know for a fact that a few of these took me a few tries just because um, I kept messing up like opportunities or like there's one later on that's like you have to do a hundred combo and like normally I like say that one for last so I don't have to worry about juggling two separate things at once and um, I just kept getting hit and it was like I get like an 80 combo and like knock out most people being like wave five there's definitely not be enough people for me to get a hundred combo after that you know what I mean so I still uh, there was originally three videos of bases. I think it was two bases per video. And I ended up just combining two of them. And then in the next video, I might combine the next two videos. Because the next video after the bases is going to be side missions. There. Now to find the jammer. I should be able to track the wires with my suit. So, uh, we're also going to keep a lookout for any tech parts. Because the remaining tech parts that we haven't collected can be found here in the bases Demon so stuff. like here's one right here down the jammer. Uh, to our right we're just gonna break down this wall yeah. break the wall do. down <laughs> uh, anyway um and this is gonna be our first of six underground caches even the roxon ones have underground caches so yeah hey hideouts back on the grid nice tipping the cops off now I can't wait to write up this underground demons conflict for my podcast series. Thanks, Spider-Man. That's my cue to leave. Alrighty, so on to the next I should base. get back to looking for the new form. Uh, I should, the but theater. I'm not going to be going to the theater. Time to hit the theater. No, stop telling me what to do, Miles. We're going to be uh, fucking doing some bases. So here's the next underground this looks base. Like one of Roxxon's secret labs. Let's go to one of the Roxxon uh, bases. And we're gonna find a way in. So we gotta uh, web up the wheels after pulling them. Oh, you yep. beauty, there's a vent. This is it. A way inside. Hey, got your tech. Good news. I can access Roxxon's security through the signals your suit is picking up. You never cease to amaze, my man. Jerry, are you there? I'm trying to fix the generator. This guy's gonna have a really bad day at work, isn't he? Stupid piece of junk. <laughs> Damn, bro. Huh. Easier than I thought. That was a lot of weapons. I'm in. Rocks on security, you're mine. I can open that door for you, but it needs power. Got it. I'm opening the door. <laughs> I, I totally just powered it while I was waiting for you. There's a vent that I totally didn't see. <laughs> Look, what, how do I get through the door? Then I glitched the goddamn game and I was like, oh, oh, that, that, oh. <laughs> Silly me not paying attention. Hey, I found something while I was poking around security. This is the lab where they noticed people were getting sick around new form. Did anyone ever say, hey, maybe we should rethink this whole new form thing? Yeah. Rick Mason. Oh. Good thing we're shutting this place down. And not a moment too soon. Totally doesn't. What's in here? Oh no, like to that. Fuck security? up. <laughs> Where the dumb stuff they've confiscated. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm gonna sit on this awkward moment for a little bit and think about my actions. <laughs> so there's the, the rock something. Come from my team. We didn't know new form makes people sick. I'm gonna let you rephrase that. We didn't know about the baseless rumor. Thank you. Now turn off the mics and let's talk about how we contain this. Oh, that was incredibly shady. 
Uh, very, very slim of him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, so we're trying to find a way through this glass. Uh, clearly, the Miles can't phase through shit. So we gotta find a way through a door. Or something. Uh, way there's a you. vent. Duh. Why would there not be a vent? Oh yes, right here. How was I supposed to see that? <laughs> Alright, so here's one of the ones that like I kept fucking up because I just couldn't get the, the combo just right. So we're gonna skip to the part that I did at the good time. And I think we only missed like Genki talking about it. Oh, no, 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 we don't. Actually, this is one that where, where the rock sound security talks a lot. Uh, so we're just going to ignore all that. And we're going to do five wall takedowns. So I, the first time, couldn't figure out what a wall takedown was. I thought that meant sticking people to the wall. Um, I didn't realize you could stick people to the wall until this game. Honestly, like, and, like even through 2018, I usually just did perch takedowns or, like, ceiling takedowns. I never really thought about doing wall takedowns. Oh, for the count. So uh, this game was pretty cool. I had to look up the move set. Um, in the move set, it teaches you how to do like stuff like wall takedowns or wall punches. So um, if you don't know, like one of the terms is, you could always just look at your move sets to, to double check to see where it is. But yeah, 2018 never had like an objective where it was like do a wall takedown, and then it, you you get to learn about it. Um, th it was this game that did it. So that's how I learned about wall takedowns. Yeah. Um, we're going to use camouflage here because that guy was in danger, but being in camouflage helps me, uh, avoid people wanting to fight me. Beep, just like that. They're totally not paying attention, so I could just easily goof off a little bit. And then we can take out the last guy without, uh, really worrying about it. Now we can kick ass a true bubblegum. And since Miles takes a minute to actually take people out, we're going to take advantage of that by beating the crap out of everyone uh, with a fury and with vengeance. Um, I do not like using finishers and I don't like using the instant takedowns unless I need to dodge something. Um, in, like like a grenade or something. You know what I mean, like I don't really like using it because it, well, it can fuck up my, my combo by killing someone. Uh, that would take me like eight strikes to, to take down. I'll do a one shot. I mean, and for some reason I lost my combo there. I don't know what what happened. I don't know if I got hit or if I took too long to to do something. I have no idea what, what happened there. So I was like, all right, that kind of blows, but you know that's okay because I can still I'm still it's still early in the wave and I can still you know take care of it. Um, so I like to focus on like just standard strikes and keep your. Um, Keep your, your 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 finishers and your venom punches for like long range enemies. I don't particularly like using them because it fucks up my combo a lot. But getting rid of the enemies that make me constantly have to dodge, uh, despite gaining a combo for dodging, um, really does make it a little easier. Like like the shield guys, I could just you know I I could just dodge the, the uh, those guys on me and then like venom jump and call it a day. I don't have to really worry about it. But the guys with the automatic assault rifles, they still hit me sometimes, even after I dodge. So using finishers or venom punches on them um, really is useful. If you're having a hard time with like, the combos. Kind of thing. Um, I do like the venom jump, by the way, uh, when it comes to combo challenges, because it launches people up in the air, so you can prolong your combo but it also stuns people, which means they're not going to attack you. And it also keeps them from attacking. If you get like a good group on them, it just keeps them from attacking. That guy fucking died. That guy had a tragic death, dude. <laughs> a giant thing of metal crushed him and it like rammed his body into a giant pole. He's fucking gone. There's no, there's nothing left of that man's soul, right? He was crushed. Gonzo Garbanzo. Okay. And we did it. That will never not suck. That powered the lab down. You should probably get out of there. Through that office. Mm -hmm. Please don't come to life, creepy Roxxon armor. Could see if there's some Roxxon dirt in that computer before I head out. Hey, Roxxon. There is a rumor 
going around that new form makes our people sick. Now, come on, guys. Of course that's not happening. And if it were, we would take care of you. Without you, nothing gets made. No new form, no plaza, and no future. And I gotta tell you guys, that future right now is at risk. So before you decide to spread what's really just a malicious lie, think again. Nicole, remember, we're here for you. Sometimes it feels like Krieger's competing on America's most evil. America's most evil. He's really not even that evil. He's just. Thanks for your help in there. Fighting rock songs, no joke. I don't know. The underground made it their favorite pastime. <laughs> True. Seriously, though, what kind of a friend would I be if I didn't help shut down the occasional toxic fuel reactor? Hungry for power is what I was gonna say. He's just hungry for power. I should get back to looking for the new form. Well, no, actually, my idea, Miles, was to end this video right here after two, count them, two uh, bases. <laughs> but we're not gonna be doing that today. We're gonna be unlocking some more suits. The Into the Spider Verse suit, probably my favorite suit in the game, or at least one of them. Uh, we will be taking a look at Vibe the Verse and uh, the other one that we unlock. Uh, a little later, but um, it, we're going to be using the the end suit, which is actually one of my other favorite suits in this game, and its original appearance comes from Miles Morales, The End, Volume 1, Issue Number 1, and this is just a really dope suit. I really, I really like this one. I really want that leather jacket, like that jacket that he has wearing um, with the hoodie and everything. I really want it. <laughs> The other one I really want is is the the uh, the Ghost Rider leather jacket from um, Agents of Shield, the one that Robbie Reyes wears. I really like that one too. <laughs> for when I get my motorcycle, I need I need to have leather jackets for when I need when I have my uh, my, my 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 motorcycle. I'm crazy guys! I just I just I just want to live life on the edge, <laughs> the edge of glory. <laughs> So we're going to be getting uh, Venom Dash Launcher, and so what that does is if we press X when doing a Venom Dash, so uh, Venom Dash with the triangle button, and then we press X when attacking, uh, we get to launch enemies for free. You all remember Wilson Fisk, don't you? The so-called kingpin of crime? I'm told he's getting five-star treatment in his cell, which is nicer than Jared's apartment, while his shark lawyers appeal his conviction. But it seems there may be some justice in the world after all, because a new Daily Bugle expose reveals that his now dilapidated Fisk Tower, which is scheduled for demolition in the new year, has been taken over by squatters. And isn't it just perfect karma that this garish monument to the ego of a guy who always felt he was above the law has been overrun by a bunch of freeloading bums? Next thing you know, Spider-Man turn the joint into his personal headquarters. So how does it feel to be hoisted on your own petard, Wilson? No, Jared, that is not an obscenity. Read a book! So, uh, yeah, that one uh, popped up, and then I accidentally uh, went into combat. Like, I was close to a crime. Hey, the being broken into near you. Okay, yeah, okay, that's nice here. Um, but then I ended up doing something different. Danica. I'm at another hideout. Ooh, awesome. Just reorganized my notes from a podcast series, and I am ready to dig in. Go find that gem. All right, uh, but then, like, when I was recording the, the footage where you just saw, I ended up uh, closing it out, and it closed out, and I had to re-record re re it. Um, super duper duper funny. Uh, so our challenges here are to be camouflaged and take down people. That does not mean we need to do wall takedowns. Does not mean we have to do perch takedowns, or it does not mean like any takedown in particular. We just have to take people out while camouflaged. Um, it doesn't stay stealth takedown. All right, so you don't have to be stealthy when camouflaged. I believe you can uh, get someone to like the last hit of their combo, turn camouflage, and hit them, and it should still work. But just in case, I'm going to do it uh, stealth takedowns. At wall camouflage, just so that I don't fuck this up, pretty much. 
Uh, you can always turn off camouflage by pushing up. You don't have to wait for the timer to go down. Um, it doesn't make it charge any faster, but it definitely doesn't hurt to do that either. Um, I think using your camouflage and then venom punching someone will also count as a venom takedown. I mean, as a as a camouflage takedown. So, you know, keep that in mind. Again, it's not too specific, but I just wanted to play it safe and be stealthy. I didn't want to, like, get into combat and have to jump back out, you know what I mean? And I was like, oh, I'll just jump down and take that guy up, but I didn't realize my camouflage wasn't ready yet. <laughs> so, no, I'm not going to be doing that. Alright, our next objective is to launch 12 enemies into the air using our Venom Jump. Now, I don't know if Venom Dash Launcher counts, but I'd be willing to venture a guess that it does. And normally what I like to do is I like to dodge around so I get a good group, maybe like three, four people, and then I, uh... I bet. I meant to do that on the ground. And then I get to launch like four people in the air. Super duper useful. And remember, the more people you take out, the more people show up, so you want to still build your Venom Launcher, your Venom Jumper, by beating up dudes that you launch into the air. Uh, these guys are just chilling, allowing me to jump on them, or jump them. Hey, so I checked this location against local crime reports. What? A while back, the Magia and an unidentified group obviously reached for Underground. Shootout. Underground went after the Magia? Like the crime family? They wanted respect. Makes sense they try and jump ahead by gunning to the ruling class. Oh, so, yeah, the Underground took on, like, everybody. The you know, demons, the Magia. They, they were gunning for, for gang supremacy and, uh,. It seems like they really had to wait until the Spider-Man showed up. So I feel like this, without the Spider-Man, the Underground really wouldn't be able to, to do much. And you know, without even even with the Tinkerer, like, or even without the Tinkerer, rather, they wouldn't be able to do much um, without the Spider-Man because the Magia were just overpowered, everyone, especially with that like, Sable tech that they were they were rocking. Uh, even even like the little pea shooters, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. But you know, demons have like powers. Question. Spider-Man thing come from? Uh, my mentor came up with it. I like it. I mean, first I thought it was kind of cornball, but now I like it. Uh, thanks. Hey? You insulted my mentor? <laughs> Danica, we. I fought people for less, Danica. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll fight you. I'll fight you in a debate. I've I've heard the podcast. <laughs> I'm just messing around. But uh, yeah, I don't know where that came from, the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man thing. I know that it was just in like a comic, but I don't remember Pete saying that randomly, you know what I mean? I don't know if that was like in the, the newspapers or like if Pete said it in the comics. I think it just appeared in like a, a blurb and then it became just something that was denoted with Spider-Man. Um, I love the perch wall punches. Like he does a wall punch when, he, when he's on like a perch. <laughs> that to me is just one of the funnier little moves that you can pull yeah. off. Like you 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 point launch up to someone and they're standing right there, <laughs> and their logic is I'm gonna springboard into them, Goku style with my dragon punch. <laughs> that to me is really funny. Okay, all that's left is to find the jammer and shut it down. Is it me or do these? Is it me or do these bases seem to go by a lot faster than the ones in 2018? Um, like I'm just talking right through it, and I feel like I feel like I could spend a little more time on them, but like that, these just end so quickly. All right, so we're gonna pull up these guys. We're gonna shoot it up. Shoot it, shoot it up in a one and one and one. Um, wow, it's a Magia trophy room. All right, so there should be a tech uh, cache around here. Yes, it's right there. I guess we gotta lower this thing. Oh yeah, here it is. Yeah, you gotta jump up here. That's Thought right. You could hide, huh? <laughs> bad cop, bad cop. What you gonna do? <laughs> bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do when you come for? Uh, I think we missed 
a recorder here. Guess I can head out. Yeah, I, I definitely did. I Crap. remember this. Hey, uh, the way out's blocked. Should I call someone? Like, like backup? I'll figure it out. <laughs> well, we're definitely gonna be looking around, but there is a power thing, so we gotta find another power source around here. Uh, and we just got to look around. I was like, oh, what's that? Oh, did I actually do the recording? Chips. Definitely the old crime family style. Oh, no, I guess it was just poker chips. Never mind. I thought, I thought it was a, a recorder. That old elevator could be my ticket out of here. Wait, there's a just thing in here? Why would they just have a random generator in here? Well, anyway, that was super duper convenient. Power this bad boy up. What I don't understand is why you can't you shoot a web and then just electrocute hey, it. Consider the jammer jammed. Perfect. I'm just gonna give the police an anonymous tip. And boom! No more hideouts. I appreciate the help. Did you get what you needed? Yep. I'm gonna dig some more into this turf war between the underground and the magia. It smells like a story. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to hearing the podcast. Alright. On to the next one. Y'all, I want to say it is a damn good thing we have the new spider. -Man. That's right, no censoring. That is how real we're getting. Recently, a woman from Harlem was kidnapped. Before the PDNY had even tracked her as missing, Spider-Man found her. Harlem's going through a rough patch since Roxxon moved in. I hope that having Spider-Man on their side gives them a little hope this holiday season. Listeners, give Spider-Man a shout out for me on your favorite social and donate to Real Morales' campaign if you're into saving the neighborhood from corporate takeover. And remember, clean your dryer filter after every load. Goodbye. I have nothing to speak on that dryer filter one, but I feel like that's actually super duper good advice. <laughs> I'm, I'm always afraid of those things exploding. I'm at another rocks on that. Cool. Let's shut down another reactor. Yeah, let's. So we're going to be opening up our garage door. Um, if you open it up and then run through, it won't let you through. You have to stop with it. Just got through their security. Their firewalls really are garbage. How do I get in? Doors down the stairs. Same deal as before. You power it and I'll open it. Powering up things is my specialty. Well, we could always just power up stuff. Uh, here is yet another thing we have to power up. You're getting there. They keep connecting them. There should be one more. Oh wait, unless it's that one. Yeah, I think it's this one. You connect that one. I need to charge it. That one. And it. Punch it. Overriding the lock. And that should Got open up this door, which unlocks us a tech thing. Tech thing, Madrid. What was that? What is this? Your personal vocal scrub. Tune to your voice and scrambles any recording devices within ten feet. And you made this for me because. Well, uh, you're an outspoken member of the company, and um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop you there. I can exercise self-control. It's everyone else who you need to be scrubbing. You got me? You know, honestly, without even thinking about it, I probably should have put in the other two cases down on the main in floor, just this ahead. video. Man, I thought that environmental impact report was going to kill us. We got friends on city council. Man, I thought that environmental impact report was gonna kill us. We got friends on city council. Bet Roxxon's a leader nervous about the election coming up. <laughs> Wanna watch a bunch of heads explode? Walk into a board meeting and mention the election. <laughs> so, uh, they're just talking about whatever's going on in the store right now. But we're going to need to do five purge takedowns. Um, this one was just tough in general. I remember this one being kind of tricky because there is a ton of enemies. And the uh, the area that you fight them in is kind of tight. So we're going to make sure that we need to purge take down five dudes. We just got to like find five separated dudes. Like that guy. I don't know who's looking at you, boy, but... We're gonna web you up in a second. Once I make sure you're safe. Ooh, kick on the groin, dude. Unnecessary. I'm okay with it. 
Uh, we're gonna take out that guy. The guy below might have been in danger because he was walking towards other guys. I really didn't want to deal with it, so we're gonna just knock that guy's face into the steel beam. Miles, bro, you're gonna kill someone like that. <laughs> if you haven't already. Uh, let's see, we got three. Nope. Let's see over there. That guy's a loner. I could probably lure him over with my webbing. <laughs> Fool. The hill. You don't know what you're Fresh messing webbing. with. Hang on, heard a noise. Yeah, yeah, come closer. Come closer. Just, just, a, just a little. Just one, one step. Come on. Code one. blue. We've got an intruder. You ain't got shit to- Oh, oh wait, here's one right there. I didn't even think about that. Perfect. Uh, now I just about more. It doesn't really matter if we get caught now. Uh, our last ability is to pull 10 enemies using the gravity well. Now, the gravity well is definitely one of my favorite uh, gadgets in the game. Uh, it is super duper useful. It's super simple to- What it does is it pulls people together. And just like that, we pulled five guys together twice, and we did it. Um, super duper useful. I really enjoy it. It's super useful in bosses. It, <clears throat> if you find a boss you're having a hard time with, try to grab the wall. It might surprise you. That guy popped me twice. Damn, bro. What? Say fuck you, bro. <laughs> and that right there was about a monster. That's what I I was say, like a baby. <laughs> people who just like to do harm to others, they don't really care about other people. So I'm sure he sleeps just fine. He probably does not think about the damage he's causing outside of the uh, the, the the liability aspect of it. Yeah. If I stick that guy to the wall with the with the fan, will the fan keep moving? And if so, will that kill someone? Oh wait, is there a grating on it? There's a grating on it. Never mind. Oh, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. See, now I don't mind sticking people to fans. Just you know. Burning cars, and an explosion. I don't know. It's all building. Oh my goodness! So we're just gonna take him out very quickly. Uh, uh, honestly, these 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 uh, these bases are going by so fast that like I don't even know how close we are to being done here. We might be on like the last wave or the second last wave, and ultimately. Uh, I mentioned this earlier in the game. I really like the combat in this game. Um, it felt a little stiff playing because I'm just so used to Spider-Man 2018's like super duper fluid combat. But honestly, I kind of like this one a lot. A lot. I like the Venom. I like the, the holding finishers. I like how like the enemies all attack at once, and you can go from like dodging like three things at once to like using your venom punches okay. and finishers and stuff. Had to keep the reactor from hurting anyone Super else. Super fun. And shut it down for good. You've absorbed a lot of you, Foreman. This isn't gonna give your kids three eyes or something, is it? I have to shut this place down. No one else can. No, but it might give me like six arms. Something. That would be a cool suit to have. Six arm Spider-Man. I haven't finished Spider-Man 2, by the way. It is November 8th. I still have yet to play beat it. I'm like, I'm like halfway in. Uh, I am enjoying it immensely. The combat's a little stiff, but I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm, I'm not particularly a fan of the way the gadgets are done in that game, if I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, because sometimes I find myself like throwing a concussion blast while good. dodging. <laughs> or like the the gravity well equivalent in that game, uh, when like trying to punch someone. Might be something useful in that computer. I don't know, but that's a thought for Spider-Man Two when we get there eventually. Not anytime soon, by the way. 
Rocks on rock stars. How cool does it feel to be building the future every single day? Huh? Well, it'll feel a lot less cool if we get shut down because of an ill-timed leak. Information security is vital to our survival, so from here on out, we'll need all employees to surrender phones, laptops, any other communication devices upon entry. Cool? Good. Remember, we're here for you. I saw a vent up there. Oh, whoa. Glad I didn't land in the middle of that. You know, I figured you'd have enemies as Spider-Man. I didn't think Roxxon would be one of them. Yeah, they're way more corrupt than I thought. We'll figure out a way to expose Roxxon without going the underground route. Couldn't take on an evil conglomerate without you. Thanks, man. Talk soon. Well, uh, that does it for this video. I will see y'all in the next back to one for when the we new finish farm. the bases Time and when the we theater. do some side missions. See y'all then.